Hi, I'm Shan and I'm here again with another video and today's topic is artificial intelligence. So what is artificial intelligence? Artificial, artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines. So Google Translation, Siri, Alexa, all these things that we use are examples of artificial intelligence. So when I think about artificial intelligence, one core task is classification. So uh, by looking at this figure, you see that there are three images, the dog, cat and tree. And we want to associate them to related concepts. So if a program is able to recognize that in one of the image there is dog and in the second image there is cat and the third image there is tree, then we say that this program is exhibiting artificial intelligence. And in another figure, we are trying to do the recognition of handwritten digits. This is actually also a form of artificial intelligence. And the third example is about these sentences. We want to recognize the parts of speech that uh, where is the pronoun, where is the verb, and where is the named entity. So the how is artificial intelligence in, at insiders. So all of the products of insiders are heavily dependent on artificial intelligence. For example, automatic document classification, information extraction, and intelligent routing of documents. So nowadays, almost all the businesses, they are using artificial intelligence either directly or indirectly. Some of uh, them are using it in a simple form and others are using it in more complex form. So if we go to uh, categorize artificial intelligence, we could categorize it in three categories. So the first is weak AI, the second is strong AI, and the third is super intelligence. What is weak AI is that we are able to achieve nowadays. So it is driven to achieve a single goal. For example, if we want to do face recognition, speech recognition, document classification, this is all uh, narrow AI or weak AI. And the strong AI is that we could do things that humans could do that uh, we see in the science fiction movies, like there are robots and they could do absolutely what humans could do. Um, there have been some attempts to achieve that. For example, the computers could learn to play games. They could be world champion for the Go game. But I think we are still a bit far from. So some people argue that driverless cars are exhibiting strong form of uh, AI, but uh, other people argue that they are only doing the driving, so they cannot uh, be classified as an example of strong AI. And the third form of AI is super intelligence. This is where AI gets better than humans. It's scary. <laughs> But uh, as a tech enthusiast, I think that it's not inevitable. So at some point of time, we are going to have it, but we need to uh, impose some ethical rules to evolve AI such that it remains our under control. But this will be the topic of another video that I will do. So uh, coming back to the Insiders product, so like uh, all other companies, Google, Microsoft, uh, we are also exhibiting the narrow form of artificial intelligence. Our products like uh, document classification, this information retrieval from invoices and everything. But with the new products like chatbots and automatic response generation, we are going towards a system that would actually exhibit strong AI. So we are putting these pieces of the puzzles together and trying to come up with a system that is self-sufficient. So uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. I talked about many terms like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and perhaps last time deep learning and data science. In the next video, I'm going to tell you how we could categorize them and what is their relation to each other. So stay tuned.